breaking Hearthstone news Tuesday, March 26, and it's not really breaking. This happened a couple hours ago, but I was at work. I'm a slacker. I apologize. Listen, balance changes are coming to Battlegrounds and Standard in patch 29.0.3. We are speculating this is going to be Thursday, but this was released on Twitter today. And look, they're doing Paladin changes. They're doing, uh, wow, is that Odin? They're doing a Warrior change. They're doing Zilliax changes. They're buffing Aviana and a Mage card. Um, here's some of the Battlegrounds changes that are being made as well. Um, it looks like a couple of, yeah, a couple of buffs. Um, they're finally nerfing bream counter again it needs to be nerfed way crazy and then one of the elementals is going to be changed but let's talk about standard let's talk about hearthstone um they're making some balance changes to constructed and i don't know if i agree with all of this and i'm not the only one so i think that with Wizbang's workshop just coming out um a week ago seven days i think it's way too soon to have balance changes um i'm watching I'm not playing all of the games on the high tier ladder. I'm not legendary or, you know, whatever. Um, I'm noticing that these decks are not unbeatable. Um, Paladin, yes, it is strong. Top of the win rates. Hunter is strong. Top of the win rates. But it is not unbeatable. It's not oppressive. I think it's way too early to be making some changes. Um, I'm not the only one that agrees with me. So, nor was posted on Twitter today. Not happy about that many nerfs that early. In the last two days, there was a huge rise of different Death Knight and Demon Hunter, even more popular than Paladin and Warrior. Meta was still evolving, adapting to current meta decks quite well expect to face demon hunter non-stop post patch with close to zero diversity i don't disagree with this um hatrick put can i ask why they keep pushing nerfs when the meta is still developing is it an auto thing to do as far as i know there have been times where we waited a month and a half for a balance patch in solved meta and then all of these comments are in agreement that it's too soon it's too soon it's too soon um i agree uh, we'll go over the balance patch. I, I like I said, my thing is is I'm sitting there and I'm I'm facing um, paladins, and it is not to where you just always lose with paladin. It's not a situation where you always lose to hunter. It's still being defined right now, so it's maybe a little premature. But listen, I don't have the numbers on the back end. I don't see all this. I am not all knowing. This is just my opinion, but it's not just my opinion. Um, I'm just talking about it. So to go over the balance changes, these are the buffs. Uh, Sky Mother Aviana is being buffed. Lord knows what we're getting here. Um, it's going to maybe five mana or six, six. I think the only thing that would make this better or make this buff is if it went to five mana because you still have to worry about, okay, great. You just shuffled 10 random legendaries into your deck and they cost one, but you still got to survive those minions going back out. Um, I don't know if this one's going to be doing anything besides, like I said, um, maybe you can shuffle all of them except for one into your hand. I don't know. Not sure how things are going to work, but I, I don't see this being enough unless they really mark it down on uh, the mana. Uh, Frost Lich, Cross Stitch. Uh, five mana deal, four damage to a character. If it dies, summon a 3-6 water elemental that freezes. Maybe summon two 3-6s? Maybe something less than that? Um, I think this will work with some of the mage decks. I don't know if this was the card that they wanted to buff um, because Mage is not doing that great. But we'll see what happens. And then for the nerfs thing, it's crazy. Awakening Tremors, um, the one mana get three, four, one worms. They cost one. Every game that I've seen with these guys going down, they were hit before their, the, the next turn came. So I don't see this needing a nerf, but hey, we'll see what happens. Tiger's Plushie, um... Three mana, three, two beast with miniaturized rush, lifesteal, divine shield. Yes, it is strong, but it's just got a low um, health. It's It doesn't last very long. It's utility, if anything. That's my personal opinion. Deputization aura, um, your leftmost minion has plus three attack and lifesteal. Last three turns. This is not the crazy. If I'm looking at auras I'm going to change, I'm not changing this one. Um because it's your leftmost minion it's situational uh shroomscivate i'm not 
too upset about. I'm okay with this. Three mana, give a minion, wind fury, and divine shield, excavated treasure. Maybe something with this one would be it can't attack hero the first turn. I don't know. Um, it's something that could be done here, but it's interesting to see what's going to happen. And then Thrall's Gift is being changed. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with this yet. I'm assuming that maybe Lightning Bolt or bloodlust is being adjusted i don't know we'll see what happens in a couple of days aftershocks is being hit uh four mana nature spell deal one damage to all minions three times cost two less if you cast a spell last turn so yes this is overpowered but not overpowered enough as to where if this gets adjusted um it'll never see play again i i don't know it's a very strong card but i don't think it was broken strong here's a new one here um odin prime designate uh this one is getting a nerf and we just got uh one of the bundles had odin in it i believe if i'm not mistaken the signature odin um that's kind of interesting very curious to see what this is but i literally have not seen i know it's up there higher on the win rate column or what have you i don't think i've seen a warrior play odin since the new expansion launched but we'll see what happens and then zilliax deluxe 3000 is getting a nerf and it says specifically the ticking module now i trust Hearthpone, absolutely great resource, but I didn't see this anywhere listed besides right here that ticking module was being changed, cost one less for each minion in play. Okay, I've still not seen this being the be all end all. I think the one that makes a duplicate of it has been um, the bigger one, but listen, it's still early. I don't think that these should be happening right now. I think we should have had another week, week and a half, maybe two. I don't see anybody beating down the doors going, this is terrible, this is terrible. So what are we not seeing? So leave a comment if you think this is too early, um, if it's just the right time, if this is something that we shouldn't even be worrying about, that they should have made more changes. Maybe they should have added buffs, more buffs than nerfs. That's what I would think. Um, if you're trying to get some of those win rates to be much higher, um, maybe try buffing more than, than, than one card or two cards. Uh, buff like three or four of the mage cards. If you're able to make these um, adjustments really fast after the game came out, you can revert them again. I would not have a problem if every 10 days we had some sort of small little tweaks here and there to see how it worked. But that's all I can think of, and I don't run the show. Remember, Team 5 runs the show. I don't run the show. I just talk about the show. Um, also, if you are like me and got the Lena signature before getting the Lena on the rewards track, uh, we've been talking about this. This happened to me, absolutely. Um, talking about it being addressed. What's going to happen? Are we going to get something for it? And then... Um, uh, HS Deck Tech, uh, amazing, amazing uh, associate writer for Hearthstone. Excuse me, not an associate anymore. He says writer for Blizzard on Hearthstone. Excuse me. I apologize, Deck Tech. Don't hate me. Don't cancel me. I apologize. So he goes, without getting too into the weeds, it's actually a separate process than the patch. The overlap is more just overall team attention and bandwidth. So that's to say we don't know yet if it'll go at the same time before or after, but it's still on the radar and happening soon. So the situation, the fix, the adjustment, whatever we want to call it, is happening super soon. Very excited about that. I was a little bummed that I got the one signature card. Although all the signature cards are amazing on Wizbang's Workshop, I was a little bummed that this is the one I got. And then I got the Legendary. Give me another one. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I want them all. I want all of them. My wife won't give me the credit cards anymore. She took all the credit cards and she put them in a closet. And I don't have the combination to the safe. Like, I can't buy any more card back, uh, packs right now. I can't buy any more bundles or whatnot. Um, anyway, I'm rambling way too much. Um, it's time for me to cut off the caffeine and I will see you all in the next video.